I am Captain Cesaro of the HMS Dick Punch. Uh. <laughs> it really should be HMS. We are the whole Navy, aren't we? Yeah, no, we are in charge of the Royal <laughs> Navy. Hey, folks, this is Popo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfall. And this is Let's Play Together, even though it's a one player game, Uncharted Waters New Horizons, Otto Baines's story. And last time we had a bit of a stroke of good luck yeah. against, as I realized after um, the video, um, the one pirate that I also encountered in my previous play of uh, Uncharted Waters New Horizons. Oh, so it was revenge. Yeah, it was, oh, do you, yeah, do you happen to remember how that pirate encounter went? Uh, not exactly, but I can't imagine it went well if uh, you were playing as Ernst. <laughs> if I was playing as Ernst and had not bought any weapons or armor. Yeah, yeah. He pretty much just came <laughs> up to my ship, like, came up to my flagship. Like, I think I, I, I selected Flea, and um, my first mate was like, We have nowhere to run. We're going to have to fight it out. And he just, first move, came to my flagship, challenged me to a one, duel. One hit knockout. It might have taken more than one hit. It might have taken two hits. But yes, there was there was no way. Uh, so but, it turns out that uh, that he got a little too cocky because he challenged us again. And since that was a bit of a longer video and we were up later than expected, we actually were up all night to get lucky. Yeah, we were up all night. I thought for a minute you were talking about Gilbert Gottfried and Elvira on USA's Up All Night, which you may or may not remember. <laughs> Um, I don't know whether or not that was just a thing that we got because it was the USA Network. Yeah, I'd have to say we don't actually have the USA Network here. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> characters, characters are welcome there, though. That's all right. We don't get the um, uh, good job insurance uh, commercials here. So <laughs> that was actually brought up again today at work. I don't even remember what it was. Like I was actually it's, trying to Google it a minute ago. Just like, was it good? Like Nathan, good it was, job. It was Patrick. Canada. It was oh, Patrick. It was, well, I was never going to find that. Hello. Oh, it's Patrick. You took out life insurance. Good for you, son. <laughs> and what happened is the uh, one of our one of our uh, machine operators gives everybody nicknames, and there was uh, somebody somebody in, and he nicknamed them Patrick. So I was like, oh. So, so I brought it up again, and. Uh, we all had a good laugh. Everybody got the reference. Yes. I was dropping, I was dropping mad references, and everyone was just picking them up. <laughs> all right. So, I guess this is the harbor help. Oh, okay. So, he wants to know if we're gonna shove off. We should probably try and supply. Yes, I believe we were trying to book it back to England so we could actually get Hardies that would want to join up on our crew. Yeah, we wanted to get some Hardies, so we decided. We spread them as thin as possible on the ships we currently have. <laughs> we wanted to get some Hardies, so since we haven't been to the New World yet, we were hoping that maybe there'd be one in London, and we could get one of those um, sourdough thick burgers. <laughs> I enjoy those things, even though they will probably kill me. We can sail for four seven days. Should we cast off? Yeah, that's pretty better than normal. How let's... many ingots did we have now? I didn't catch that while we were. Uh... Oh, I suppose I should have checked. I was about to say if they're Spanish, I'm really tempted, but no, we would <laughs> lose. <laughs> it doesn't Don't matter how awesome our ships are. Well, what would happen is that the Spanish fleet would like see us coming and crap their pants, <laughs> and then like they get a little bit closer look at us and like see there's only like two guys on each ship. Is that, is that a ghost ship? No, they're just poorly manned. Let's take them out. Look how fast we're going, though. This is pretty good, considering uh, yeah, no. everything we've been through. Ah! Oh, it's Cesaro. It is Cesaro, as opposed to Cesaro. Oh, I want so much to be able to take these guys all gotta, out. All you gotta do is hit, hit select and save the game. That's true. Or whatever the button is. I'll save the current game. Yeah, see? It lets you get a little crazy. I'm never going to survive unless we go a little crazy. Stop your ship or we'll attack. 
This is never going to work. Huh? Then why should we listen to you? This this will literally never work, but it's gonna be fun to try. Man, can you get in there? I cannot. No. Oh well, you might as well. Maybe just set your sails down wise. Maybe you'll get uh, a chance to sneak in after his other ships try to run away. Because chances are they're actually going to try to back off. Although the number two is probably going to be stuck where it is. Unless. Yeah. Oh, that's no good. What are you doing? <laughs> what a stupid plan! They were supposed to move out of the way. Oh, we might still be able to get around. Oh, what are you guys doing to me? Oh yeah, because everybody's also on. <laughs> Freaking. Everybody else is also charging the leader. I think everyone's on, um, what do you call it? Uh, navigation so that our ships didn't go slow. <laughs> oh, I'd point him to the right, it's probably your best bet. Oh, that ship's not doing too bad, considering it was 100 versus so few. Oh, go stop fighting! <laughs> what are you <laughs> thinking? Also, uh, that's not one of our warships. That's like... I know. That's why we normally tell them to flee, but I guess he didn't uh, remember the memo from last time. Well, from downtown! Swish. Yeah, this this battle is heating up. Let's uh, challenge the enemy Commodore to a duel. Oh, we accepted. <laughs> it's his downfall. This is this is stupid. Scimitar, okay. Yeah, I'm we got to sure slash a, it out. Yeah. Yeah, we're sli we're totally slashed out. Which or is we're striking. A, a brand of European dance music. So, we have a high value parry, so we may as well use that. Oh, hey, that worked yes. out really well. Let's go for another super strike. Oh, oh you... he saw you coming a mile away. Well, that's fair. A, met a metric mile. All right, let's, let's try blocking this time. Oh, that didn't do the job. Um... Oh, we don't have another slash. Well, we have a three-way in the corner, but maybe we should uh, use up one of these thrusts. Yeah. Throw him off our game. He doesn't know what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, the there's that. There you go. More beating up Spain fame. We were defeated the opponent. <laughs> oh, that's right, my... Thank you. Thank you very much. For stopping to destroy this finest fleet. We managed to seize an aquamarine tiara. Oh yeah, that's right. We we every time we forget that we have a ton of items to sell. Yep. Alright, so this Karak. Uh no. How about this one? You have a full complement of troops. I'm going to N name the ship. I'm going to oh, name the ship. So, wait, no, what am I doing? Whoa. Uh, backspace. Uh, there we go. I'm not naming these loot. That's silly. Nobody yes. ever asked if they thought that we had some loot. Yeah. All got, right. a, got a lot of jack. We do have plenty of jack at this point. Let's, uh... Hashtag. Let's name the ship! Name it! You son of a bitch! You aren't naming it fast enough! <laughs> Don't make me sick my boys in the dick punch after you! <laughs> Alright, one more. One more time. Alright, let's add this one. We will name it the Jack 3. 
Now, if we, if we end up not going that slow with these ships, I would suggest trying to head towards Portugal as opposed to back down to that other city. Yeah, I was thinking we should try and sell these ones to the Lisboners. Yeah, which is what people in Lisbon are called. Or yeah, for. that's... <laughs> I've heard that this is what happens, and I've also heard that when a news story falls through the cracks, our own Lewis Black is there to catch it for a segment we call Back in Black. All right, um... Oh, we're gonna get so much green. Wait a minute, what is the largest hold that we have? 560, so... We should take all of this... Actually, it's 580 on one of the other ships. Oh, is it? If you're really trying to min-max. Oh, yeah. No, we, we're we trying to min-max. So we're so gonna have to make get... a sale on the dope. A dope sale. We are trying to make a dope sale. <laughs> so soon you will see the note, Drugs exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you'll be somewhere on the other like side of the map, so you'll have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but <laughs> it'll be okay. Oh, that reminds me. We have a, a proofreader at work. Um, and one time they wanted to add a comma in somewhere, but we had already printed like 10,000 of whatever these were that we were doing. They were letters or something. Yeah. And so I was like, we've already printed 10,000 of these. We're not putting a comma in because if you were saying this out loud, I don't think that you would say it with a comma. And she said, <laughs> this is the most passive aggressive ever. Oh, well, it doesn't have to have a comma. It'll look stupid, but I guess that's okay. And then I walked out of my office. I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's this little old lady. It's so funny. She's so so polite about everything. And then, oh, it'll look stupid, but I guess that's okay. Well, you know, uh, I do a lot of copy editing in my trade, so... Uh... I understand, like, I definitely understand the needs of the print process, so I'm not going to sit here and try and, like, say, no, we need to stop, we need to replate everything that we've done. This has already gone off to the printer, well, that's too bad, you're going to have to call them up and take Yell, the, stop like... the presses that haven't hit that button. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I used to work at um, a news, I mean, I used to work at a couple of different newspapers, but the first newspaper I worked at, um full time uh, the press was still on the site and part of our job was like whoever it was that was let's see uh, yeah we filled everything else up though so it's okay to end the trash we're mainly just pouring water into the water yep lowering the saline levels of the ocean <laughs> we're desalinizing the oceans oh this isn't going super well um uh, Let's transfer crew around. It's really just the Agua. It's doing bad. Yeah, so let's just take some people off of... Um... Oh, they'll be looking to get out of Hades anyways. What water? We've been desperately seeking water. It's so hot in here. Alright, so let's... You just get 70 now. That's okay. And the Agua... I'm gonna go to the side of my ship. Oh, okay. Yep, I get some up to eight, which is equal to the which other minimum. Par for the course, yep. Alright. Let's get these Liz Boners on the move. Do you know what? We actually made money um, getting more crew because we actually came out net positive, I think, here. With all the extra crew we'll have from the other ships. Now, hold on a second. Let me see. One thing I had meant to do, and I'm not sure that I did. Oh, I do. I do have some lumber. Oh, you're going to do repairs on the side, eh? going <laughs> to do my little piece of repair on the side. No, come on. No. There. That's, that's the proper <laughs> option. <laughs> Let's land here and do our repairs to... Oh, they're not actually Neat. that beat up. Wait, how many planks of wood will you use? None or some? <laughs> Alright. Let's use it. Use a plank of lumber. Do as I say. Alright, and the Hades. Oh, they took two damages. Which is equally repaired by one lumber. Yes. Now, let's cast off. And we're going to stop here 
and check in with our friends, the Lizboners. I've heard that's who they are. Hey, Lizboners. <laughs> Alright, so where is the trade shop? Okay, let's go in here. Let's dump off our trade goods. Now let's uh, let's tank their economy by just flooding the market with with grain, grain. which I'm gonna guess isn't even something that's like very rare here. Mm, the market rate not is bad. Thirty-one. That might be good. All right. And now it has gone down to twenty-seven. So yeah. What are you gonna do? We don't have any goods left to sell. Good, good, good. I mean, goods, goods, goods. All right. And now we're gonna have to remember to transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's transfer. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's get. Oh no! This was full of food. Yeah, but we emptied out the one ship. Uh, we did empty dope. out the dope. But I'm gonna guess that Jack 2 also has food. Yeah. I can leave this lumber behind. Jack 3. Oh, Jack 3 just has water. Okay, so in that case. Yeah, just divvy this up. I'm just gonna put this where we have extra space in the shelves. I don't think we're gonna leave too much behind. Oh, we're not gonna leave any behind. We're gonna dump out more water if we have to. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not gonna let these guys go hungry. Thirsty? Yeah, sure. Hungry? No way. Unload 66. That's food! Oh. <laughs> Thank God. the work for everybody. Take your food off. Now put it back on. Oh, there's not enough room. Okay, take some more food off. This isn't working for some reason. Thank God you're here, Zerf. <laughs> I feel like, why isn't this working? I don't understand. Alright, so. There's going to be some water and some lumber left behind. It's okay to end the transfer process. And let's transfer some crew out of here. Yep. What do so we, we got here? 60 guys back. I guess we, we might have lost more than 60, but... There's there going to be more than made up for Nobody on the jack. Nobody on double jack. And nobody on Triple Jack. Now then. The meat actually has full crew. Let's go ahead and get full crew to the Agua. And as many as we can on the dope. And yeah, that's our ships everybody. will be going fast enough by then. As long as we don't, uh... We're going Swift Styles. Yep. Now, I could buy... I could try and buy Venetian Gale Asses here. Mmm. Do they have any? I don't have a mate to navigate oh, another you ship. Need to... I'll sell these ones off first. Yeah. Rather than do a trade-in. They never give you the, the same value when you do a trade-in. They never do. And you know what else? You should... I forgot to check what date it is here, but you should always go in on the last day of the month if you're really serious about getting a good deal. Oh yeah, because if, they, if they're close to a if they're close to a uh, target... Yeah, if they're they'll... close to their sales goals, they'll be willing to cut all kinds of crazy deals to get uh, to get your sale. Sometimes they're, they're, they're crazy enough incentives from the dealers that you could probably give you a car for free and still make money on it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I ought to do. <laughs> you Just heard it here, folks. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, so this listen, I was on the internet, and these guys selling boats were telling me that if I want to buy a car, <laughs> these guys selling boats told me if I wanted to buy a car. Uh, this ship is, yeah, it's okay. It's a good ship. Um, we should have named it Lollipop. <laughs> oh man, we we may have to do that for one of our future ships. 
Uh, maybe we should save some ship names for, um... Well, to get ourselves going, because you may make... I, I'm, I'm hopeful, at least, and I guess we'll sort of see how things go, but, uh... I'm hopeful that you will want to do a scenario of this after I've done this scenario, and that we'll sort of be able to table tennis it. Well, this has always been one of my favorite games, so I don't think I'm going to burn out anytime soon. Oh, it is such a good game. It is my second favorite Koei game. So, it slots nicely and evenly between, um... Aerobiz, Supersonic, and Aerobiz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, hashtag dope. Alright, what kind of used ships do you have? Doesn't even have any. Well, there you go. Dow. Okay. Nope, not buying any. But uh, that was a cool story. Thanks for telling me. All right, so we should be oh, able man. to so get a good amount of crew here, probably. We're halfway. To, wait, we already have good armor. I was looking up Crusader armor for some reason. We have not the best armor, but we have very no, good armor. We're only we're only nine ingots away from being able to afford the Crusader sword. Hmm. So, like, however, more... you're gonna want to have like probably an extra ten ingots on top of that. And, well, I guess we could sell our current sword, but you're gonna need food to get back to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, unless, like, I I just buy a super cheap ship, like, leave all of my crew behind, and then just sail with, like... Dock everything and just go. A sloop. <laughs> it's just me, the, like... And that's when the, the Spanish catch up with you, and they're like, yes. it's time for the final battle. You're like, well, I'm, can I just go get my sword first? It's like I have literally... <laughs> yes, there you go. It's like I have literally no crew. It's just my mates also captaining the ships. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think we have really like we could get more mates, but there's no real reason to. I should start selling some of this, uh, some of this, these other goods too. Now, these are one. This is one of the few shops where you can say no when they. Uh, so like, if you try to sell this velvet coat. Oh. If you I say no to sell like, this aquamarine tiara, better deal. I'd like to take that for 2,500 gold pieces. No, oh. man. Yeah. Alright. I'm pretty sure that only works once. Maybe it can work twice, I don't remember. Oh. This is like the, this is like, uh, Pawn Stars. Yes, alright, so circlet, that is, yeah. This beautiful gold circlet with, uh, with these aquamarine diamonds in it. I mean, it's pretty good, but it might just sit around my shop. I'll have to give you five bucks. Yeah. Actually, a, a good friend of mine, um, his family runs a uh, his family runs an auction house. Um, and I haven't had a chance to go see it, but apparently they did do for, like, the local news. They had something where they are like, uh, we're doing a thing where we're gonna go out and show all these antiques and, you know, try and appraise what we think they're worth. So I need to go back and check that out, but uh, it seems like an interesting line of work. Uh, I love how these things, they, they make, whoa, that one's pretty good. Should I, I like save the really good ones in no, case I no, need to bribe? What? We don't, we don't got, there's no ladies that we need in our <laughs> lives. We got Matthew. It's true. The glutton. And he yeah, he's such a glutton. He's like, give done. me all of the pearls and gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's just going to trade them for, for, for food. And probably yes. like not, he'll be like, all I got is this gold ring. I want a ham sandwich so bad. Here you yes. go. A beautiful fan made of many long and beautiful peacock feathers. Does it? Ah, oh, it's 1500. It must not shoot lasers. <laughs> like most feather fans I'm used to. Got an ermine coat here. The rare ermine weasel. Whoa. It's worth even more. That one's crazy. Alright. Platinum comb. This comb is worth crazy money, too. Well, it is made out of, of platinum. I mean, yeah, but. 
I guess that's true. I mean, you know, back in the day, they didn't even have platinum. They could only make records out of gold. All right. Uh, 9,000? What? 9,000? <laughs> it's over 9,000 now. <laughs> it is now over 9,000. I'm going to guess this velvet coat is not going to be quite as hot. Still nothing to uh, snarf at. Snarf. What else are they selling? <laughs> uh, gonna keep this letter of mark. Yeah, that and we was, want the rat poison too. Yeah, that we just that we just happened to like snap off of somebody's ship, didn't we? No, no, the letter of no, mark. No, that's our not, English one. That's from we almost that's bought from the one. king. We almost bought one way back when, but uh, yeah, but yeah, we don't. We don't want to sell that one, or the Spanish will be able to come after us for piracy. Right now, we're just doing what we were told. Oh, sorry, just it's my job. Yeah, I'm just following hey, orders, at, man. All we're right. at 40,000. We're at 40,000. 40 that is 20 ingots more than we need. Or not 20 ingots more than we need. It's 2 ingots more than we need. So, what we could do right now... Hello, Otto. Would you like some tea? Oh, she knows who we are. She All right. Does. So we're gonna treat as generously as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's delighted. We're gonna try and recruit as many men as we can. 156. We're gonna recruit them all. Um. Oh wait. Oh, the hashtag dope is our flagship. All right. Yep. Um. I'll go ahead and assign all of them there. It's almost, it's too bad we can't assign one of the other people to captain our flagship because we'd be able to go faster. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well. Listen, I'll stand behind you in backseat sail, but if you just you know, move yeah, the wheel, we get going to around, just push us ahead a little bit. All right, I was hoping we might be able to get enough crew that, I mean, I guess we still could. We could still I mean, we, try we could, and... We could take, like... Just these broken wings. Whatever our fastest ship is, we just book it down there and back. We could take a single Venetian Galus, take all of our crew that's on it, or just pile all of the guys that we can onto like two or three Venetian Galuses, make like a little mini um, mini attack fleet, mm -hmm. <laughs> and send them down there just in case we happen to find any pirates or Spanish ships, yeah. and, uh, and try and take them out that way. I tell you what, we'll chew this over, and when we come back next time, um, well, just so that nobody gets confused, when we come back next time, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll either go back to London and try and crew up, or we might try and start making the trip down to go find the Crusader Sword. So look forward to that, folks. Once that's done, we're pretty much loaded for bear. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm Bobo the Vulture. I'm Zerfall. And this is Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game, Uncharted Waters, New Horizons, Otto Baines' story. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you all next time. Bye now.